And there they go. If there's a little space on the bottom, again, we'll add some more crinkle. A little more crinkle fill here. Okay, now another item that we can use for this basket that the baby will love is maybe a little toy. A little nice soft toy. This is an elephant baby rattle. And we can place this maybe behind here, in between these two things. Making sure his little cute little foot is shown there like that. And if we now see that we've got that there, then that means we need to move our the item that is in back a little bit higher so it's shown. So we're going to pull this out again. Move some more of that crinkle wrap, wrap up. And again, stick it directly back in. Maybe not quite as far this time. So it sticks up from behind. All right, so now we have these two here. And to keep these two together, I use a piece of glue, another glue spot here, glue dot. And you can put them directly onto the product here and squeeze the two together, and they'll tend to stay together like that. And then last but not least, let's put our designer burp claws right here in front. We will add one more embellishment, the, um, the butterfly stick. Taking off all tags. Okay. And where should we put this? Maybe right in here. Behind. Right in there. Make it a nice embellishment. And remember I said we if we cut some of these in the, the ends of these flowers off. We can use them to place around here for a little more pizzazz. So we can place one of them, the freestanding one, right in here. Just sort of fill in that little spot there. And we might want to put one right over here to fill that spot in. And again, we can secure that with a glue dot. Another glue dot. Again, putting it directly on the basket and then squeezing the branch to the side. And then we'll hold it in there like that. There, isn't that a beautiful baby shower gift basket? Your new friend will love this. And everyone at the baby shower will ooh and ah. Okay, now the final thing that you'll need to do is wrap the basket with a final wrap to make it gift ready. And you can use one of two things, either a roll of cellophane to wrap it in, or you can use one of these cellophane uh, bags. You can get these both at the craft store. The cellophane bag is a little easier for beginners, uh, but you have to make sure you have the right size, otherwise it tends to bag a little bit. Um, so let's, for today, for this gift basket, let's try the roll of cellophane. So you want to take out a nice big piece and lift up the basket, place it in the middle of the cellophane. You're going to pull it up from behind. So make sure that the space from behind goes all the way up to the top. See, that's not quite tall enough. So we need to move it forward a little bit. There we go, that's perfect. And then we want to pull this side up to the top. And yes, we've had enough. So now we'll just cut directly across, evenly across. Tricky part. 
And what we want to do is sort of gather all of the edges up, going up towards the top. I'm going to tie around this flower and keep this flower up and out of the cellophane as part of the decoration. So we we'll want to gather this up. And you'll see there's a gap here. So what we want to do, like a, like a present, is smooth it down on one side at an angle, kind of like making a hospital bed. And then you pull this side down. I might need both hands for that. Smoothing it down over on the side. And now take some transparent tape. This is the best kind, this glossy transparent tape. It actually disappears into the cellophane. You can't see it once you put it on. You want to secure it down. In a couple of places, there. And so on the other side as well, we want to gather it up like this, gather up all the edges, and then smooth in, bringing the back side in first, and then smoothing over this part here, the front, pushing it to the back. You might have to play with this a little bit until you get a really good angle that makes it nice and smooth and keeps it from bagging at the bottom. Now we take our transparent tape and make sure that is secure. Now once we get our bow in here, we can go back and fix the edges. There's one more here we need to secure as well. There we go. Now that our sides are nice, we want to bring the cellophane up and around. Gathering it up, pushing that down there, and pulling it up around the top flower. Now let's take some of the ribbon that we used to make the bow on the basket itself, and pull it around. Pulling out enough here to make a nice bow. And cutting the ribbon or the tool at an angle. There we go. Here, a nice bow. Like that, this nice thick tool makes a nice thick bow. And there we are. Now you can add, if you wanted to, add some more bow to this, like such. Or you can use a little bit of raffia. A little bit of raffia ribbon to bring it around again and do another bow on top of this. This gives it sort of a natural organic look. And we're just going to tie that bow on top of this one. And then cut the ends off with the scissors. And again, if there's any places that you look afterwards, look all around and see if there's any gaps in there. And then you can use that transparent tape. It disappears right into the cellophane and hold that closed. Right here, it's a little gap. You place that there. And there you have it. A beautiful and impressive and organic and eco-friendly baby shower gift basket. Take care.